Hay là gọi lấy vui Hay là gọi lấy Hay là gọi lấy Norfolk boy here, keep on the trash. And this is my very first video of many, hopefully, on creating an OO gauge model railway layout from scratch. So let me start by just saying, yep, yeah, I'm a big kid at heart. I absolutely love playing with things like this. Um, I love making models, which is what I've been doing for quite a while now. Um, I love playing remote controlled cars, remote controlled drones, that kind of thing. Anyway, without further ado, this is about setting up a model railway and it all started when I was a kid and my dad took me to the old bus station uh, where I lived, where a friend of his um, had a massive model railway layout. It was absolutely fantastic and it really stuck in my mind. Um, and to this day, I've always wanted to start some kind of model railway layout and miniature world of my own. Um, but I'm 58 now. That was a long time ago when I was a kid. <laughs> <clears throat> so, them days, these things weren't cheap. And today they're not cheap. It's the um, Hornby model railway train set, which is the uh, Flying Scotchman. And uh, when I was looking uh, for this particular one, um, I did look on uh, many places, um, but mostly it was around about £160, which I thought was an awful lot of money. I mean, th this kind of thing really is a lot of money, to be fair. Uh, so I don't suppose it's a, a really cheap thing, uh, to, or cheap hobby to have, I should say. Uh, anyway, I found this one on eBay, luckily. Um, and paid £80 for it, and I didn't think that was a bad deal. Maybe it is, but I didn't think it was a bad deal, and it's in really good nick. So this is where I've started. I've started with the complete Hornby railway set, the Flying Scotchman. I should say before I go any further at this point that um, I am absolutely by far no professional at any of this. I am uh, making all this up as I go along. This is the first time I've ever set out or set up, I should say, a proper um, model railway layout. So um, I'm quite happy for anybody to tell me if I'm doing anything wrong. Um, I'm just going to go with the flow and um, see how it all turns out. And hopefully it'll all turn out okay. I guess I should mention really as a helpful thing is um, this particular model railway um, set, or Hornby train set, and I guess most others um, require a space um, well, I have a board here actually, which is five foot one by four foot, and uh, to be honest, that's tight. I mean, I uh, managed to get it on with a with an outer track over there, obviously. Um, um, a little bit more space would uh, kind of help, I suppose. Ideally, at the end of the day, a four foot by six would be the best um, size. However, at the moment, I've got this set up in my workshop, which is um, an okay size, but I'm still using it for my work, which is uh, fixing computers and laptops. Um, so I can't use any more of the workshop at the moment. However, I will be removing that window soon and uh, building an extension onto this, uh, this workshop so that um, later on in the future, I'll be able to add to this layout. But in the meantime, I'm sticking to this size um, and just going from there as a beginning. So after buying the train and getting the baseboard and uh, I also had um, some old stuff lying around that people gave me through the years or I got accumulated through the years anyway this old uh, diesel intercity train I had that I actually stripped or well, had to strip down really because it didn't work very well and get it to go um, it does it, it works okay um, I had this other little old train over here uh, and I've got a few other bits and pieces lying around. I had some old track given me, uh, which was a bit of a mess, but I cleaned it up myself a little bit. Um, and the first thing I've done so far, uh, as at the moment I've got this set up where it's, well, I'm, I'm working this out so that this will be the outer rail and circuit all the way around. And then eventually I've got some more track coming as I speak. I'll be doing an inside track 
uh, like that. Um, so that I can run two trains, one going one way, one going the other, obviously by using a, an extra controller. Uh, there was the control, or one of these was the controller that came with the set, which is the usual standard controller that of Hornby's that they give with all their train sets. And then I bought another one to match off eBay. Um, and the first thing I did after I'd laid out the track and knew where I wanted to put it was to use this stuff, which is cork, which um, I've discovered that most people seem to use for underlay underneath their track. Um, so um, I bought this for around about. 12.99 something like that i suppose it was 10 meters long i do believe um, and i had my own way of laying this underneath the track i will be making a video on how to do this when i do the inner track when it comes uh, but in the meantime i'll just show you an example of what it looks like uh, as you can see these are little tacks uh, because in the hornby rails they have um, very small holes if i can point one out there uh, to not tax into so basically this uh, cork is glued on um, when I knew which and which and where and how I wanted to put it um, and then the track laid on top and then I've pinned it in to keep it sort of still as the train goes around and obviously once I've moved this board or wherever I had to move this board all the track would stay on the board obviously um, so anyway that's what it looks like kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic um, and then obviously later on when scenery goes on, there'll be other stuff to make it look, you know, realistic basically. Because uh, real tracks, they, they stand up on a little bit of gravel or whatever. So I suppose that's, a, of course, the other idea of this stuff is supposed to be to make it quieter. So um, I must admit, um, I'm not sure if it's made it that much quieter, but still it looks good. Uh, and it seemed a good idea at the time, so I've done it now anyway. Um, like I said before, I ain't got a clue what I'm doing here. I'm just doing things as I go along and make them up. So um, you'll see all my mistakes and hopefully some, some of the things that go right. But anyway, um, here we go. I'm now going to test this and see if it runs okay on this piece of track that now actually down and laid. So if anything goes wrong, I'm going to have to pull all the tacks up and uh, sort it out so anyway here we go have a little bit of fun now da, 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 the grand tryout uh, to see if this will actually run around the track smoothly um, here we go let's get the old girl started nice and slowly to begin with it seems to be running quite smoothly and i guess probably not the recommended way to do this but to make sure that it <laughs> actually has been laid as best as I could. One way to test it is to give it some welly. So here we go. There we go, full pelt. She seems to be going around there okay without derailing, which is good. All in all, not a bad job so far, I don't think. Slow her down. Imagine there's a station there, or around, and there you go, lovely jubbly. So far so good, I don't think you have to be very skilled to do anything like this, um, anybody can have a crack at this I'm sure, um, I've got a little bit of experience with modelling. Um, so when it comes round to the scenery, that's the it's the kind of stuff that I'm really looking forward to doing. Um, I mean, here, for example, is what I'm normally up to, which is uh, building models. And I mean, I build models of cars and that kind of thing. But I love doing other stuff. And this was probably my very first attempt, really, at doing a bit of scenery. So um, it's the model of the um, Psycho Mansion. And uh, it's sitting on a base that I made up myself, made out of the good old paper mache we used to do as kids. Um, and then um, a little bit of gravel, a little bit of... Um, some trees that I'm uh, one well maybe one tree I made and then uh, a few bushes here and there that um, I bought in a packet fairly cheaply from somewhere and some of this spray on stone effect on I'll talk about that later in some other videos because it's brilliant for giving this kind of stone effect anyway there we are so that's it for now and um, thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll be coming up with another video soon 
and moving on to laying the inner uh, circle track and um, then we can move on to um, other stuff once the track's laid uh, which is all exciting hey eh? all lovely and exciting stuff thank you very much for watching this is norfolk boy keep on the trashing hey i got a load